What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to Let's Mess With 2K15 Universe Mode. Uh, and I guess we're getting back into... I don't know. Uh, it is Wednesday, which means that I did watch Raw last night, so obviously I'm going to sit here and talk about Raw for a little bit as I play through some matches, some very tired matches, like John Cena, Randy Orton, because sure, why not? I'm going to be Randy Orton. Um, yeah, so, Raw last night, let's get right into the discussion there, uh, it seems like, hopefully, a lot more people than me, uh, who have been complaining the last few weeks, they are actually getting to the things that we've been complaining about. Now, that may have been the plan all along. They may have already had a plan laid out all along for things that we are complaining about, and perhaps they are delivering on the things, we already seen this, that we're complaining about. What the fuck? Um, and, uh, I would say, in terms of things that happened last night, top of that list was, uh, Brock Lesnar, uh, going all Street Fighter on the car for J&J Security. Now, I complained very much l last week as a wrestling fan, when you introduce a vehicle in wrestling, usually it's at the start of the show, and at the end of the show, something happens to that vehicle. Um, in this case, we had to wait a week for Brock Lesnar to go all Super Street Fighter on that car, which was out of nowhere. Uh, fantastic. Loved that shit. Um, honestly, I uh, thought it was a bit dangerous, uh, only because n knowing what happened uh, uh, back in the 90s to Goldberg, uh, obviously he used his fist on that window, which was, you know, a bad idea. But seriously... Brock Lesnar and two axes. That sounds dangerous as hell to me. And, and somebody in the crowd got hit when he flung the car door uh, by a part of that car door. Got hit by it. So, there's that. Um, but otherwise, I thought that shit was handled pretty well. And Seth Rollins just piecing the fuck out of there uh, was pretty funny. Uh, he wanted no part of Brock Lesnar. And Battleground is in two weeks. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh... I don't want to play Mark Henry versus Randy Orton. That, no. I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Um, I thought that the continuing, uh, yep, the continuing Big Show, Miz, and Ryback is just some of the most boring stuff. Really? 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 I'll play it. Fine. Whatever. Uh, I want to go back to the menu, but, you know. I want to see what, what other matches are here on, on main event. Um, go with Rollins as we are currently talking a bit about. Um, so, yeah, I that the, the IC title stuff has been kind of a stark contrast to actually giving a shit about the U.S. title, which is you know the thing right, going on right now with Cena. And I'll get to the main event discussion in just a minute here. But the IC stuff has just been like, what are you doing? Like, nobody wants to see it. Nobody cares. Uh, it is dreadful. On it. Like, not that those three guys can't do good work, because they, they have in the past. But what they are doing with those three guys is just the bottom of the barrel could not care any less about it. And yet it takes up time on TV, and there's going to be more of it next week. Before we actually get to this triple threat, which I'm assuming that Ryback's going to retain, but who knows. Just don't give the belt to the Big Show, because like, nobody cares. Like, I don't have anything in particular against the Big Show, I just don't want to see him in any kind of a title picture in 2015. Like, really, just stop. Just stop. Nope. That was perhaps a mistake on, on, on my part. DDT? Nice. Nice. Let's do some heel shit here. Do some heel shit here. Um, moving on to other things that happened that I thought were... So, overall, I would say being in Chicago and having that Chicago crowd certainly helps. Uh, any, anytime you have that you, you have a crowd that's actually a bit into your match uh, or into your show and cares a little bit uh, is going to help that show tremendously. So there was certainly that. Um, I didn't... Perhaps I, I wasn't paying enough attention. I didn't hear one CM Punk chant all night. They've forgotten you, Phil. They don't care anymore. Have fun getting punched in the face for real in UFC. 
in a couple of months, um, or next year, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so even during, say, you know, a match that those fans would normally not care about, like, say, Sheamus versus uh, Roman Reigns, I didn't hear any CM Punk chants. And I, I expected to hear them, you know, in a match of that nature, because at this point, kind of nobody cares about Roman Reigns and uh, Sheamus and, you know, having to build up the Roman Reigns Bray Wyatt match that still nobody cares about. And there was a fake Bray Wyatt and kind of whatever. Um, that has been, you know, super boring. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's just me. Um, anyway, uh, I will say probably my top moment of the night, just in terms of being, you know, the kind of guy who likes to hear good commentary and how kind of terrible that commentary has been on WWE programming for a long time now, having Titus O'Neil giving uh, JBL shit for not calling the match in front of him was phenomenal. Being like, yeah, stop talking about Brock Lesnar and the car and everything else and talk about the damn match that is happening. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. Love that. So hopefully he won't get in any trouble for that. Uh, because we know how they, lo they they love to punish guys for, you know, stupid shit. Um, and it's the kind of thing, you know, had Jim Ross been on commentary, uh, you know, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have stood for that shit, because he's Jim Ross. Um, or at least I'd, 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 I'd like to think that he wouldn't have stood for that shit, but what do I know? His hand was on the rope there. Um, but that was fantastic. And uh, what else happened on Raw? Don't, I, I, as much as I don't care about, uh, the IC title match, holy shit, the Divas current feud that has been going on for, I don't know, what, like, three years now? Of, of the Bellas and Page? Like, uh, oh, stop. Like, bring in other Divas. I understand you're having to, you know, like, you, you had to scramble when AJ was like, nope, I'm out, peace. I'm, I'm gonna hang out with my husband. Uh, and not wrestle anymore. Uh, like, I understand that was what, you know, you kind of had to go, okay, well, who else do we have? Nobody. Because Tamina is terrible, and Summer Rae is terrible, and where's Layla? And, like, there's nobody doing anything, and it's the worst thing in the world, and what are you doing? But weeks and weeks and weeks of Paige versus uh, the Bellas is just mind numbing. Just absolutely mind-numbing. You need to stop or, you know, bring up some of the NXT Divas. I I had heard a rumor that perhaps they're going to bring up Charlotte um, uh, in SummerSlam, I think was, was, was the rumor. They're going to they're gonna bring her up at SummerSlam. Um, what the hell, Seth? Pin him. Taking fucking forever. In him. Damn right, that's it. Uh, they're gonna bring her up at SummerSlam to hopefully, I don't know, do, do something. But yeah, I am so tired of just every week with the Page versus the Bellas. It is, it is insufferable. Um, what else happened on Raw that I want to actually talk about before I talk about the goddamn main event? Uh, Bo Dallas. Uh, more King Barrett. I could bet way Barrett, honestly. Uh, tag team stuff. Okay, yes. Let us get into the main event a little bit uh, before I end this video. Yeah, shake his hand. Shake his hand. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. Um, main event uh, was a goddamn main event. Like, that felt important. Uh, and, you know... It's like somebody on their staff realized, wait a minute, if we have good wrestling on our wrestling show, perhaps people will appreciate that. Maybe they only did it because it was Chicago, and obviously if they had not done that, if they had like a contract signing in Chicago, then people, you know, as your main event, then the fans would have perhaps shit all over that. Uh, but one of the things that I was complaining about back when I did that video with Mega Ran, uh, where it's like, you know, that was right after Tyson Kidd got hurt, and it was like, um, you know, what are they gonna do with Cesaro, uh, because, what's the next event button? Yes. 
what are they going to do with Cesaro? Hopefully, he won't be stuck on main event and superstars. And last week, he had a fantastic match with Cena. And this week, he was in the main event with Cena for like 45 minutes. And it was the best thing ever. Like, obviously, he lost. But it was still phenomenal. Uh, they had a great back-and-forth match. Uh, I have a complaint about the, the camera work. They cut away to the smashed-up car in the match. Like, this is your main event. Uh, somebody fired Kevin Dunn. He's terrible. I don't know. Um, so I'm not going to have any more game here. Uh, just wanted to kind of touch on the fact that that was a great main event. And hopefully Cesaro continues being amazing because I think he deserves it. I think, like, he, right now he's one of my favorite guys, just bar none. And he has been for a while uh, because he he put he can put on some, some damn uh, excellent matches in the ring. So hopefully more Cesaro moving forward. What I'm hoping is that... Uh, they have Owens win the belt and then feud with Cesaro and then kind of move Cena off to something else. I think an Owens and Cesaro feud could, could be fantastic as like your big summer feud for, you know, for, for like the rest of the summer. Anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up here for Let's Mess With. I think overall I thought Raw was pretty damn good. Hopefully they can keep doing that every week. I would love to see that. But obviously still, you know, things aren't perfect. There are things that still need to be worked on, etc, etc. So... As always, I am your host, Attack Slug. This has been Let's Mess With 2K15. Almost said GTA there. 2K15 for the PS4. And talking about Raw. And I will see you uh, next time. Right here on this channel. And I'm out.